Okay, so today on the Nissan Murano, we're going to go over the Vias solenoid, uh, V-I-A-S, and uh, I'll talk about what that is, uh, how I did the troubleshooting process to fix mine. Uh, this is to fix code P1800. Okay, so the system we're talking about here uses vacuum to activate this arm here. And what this is, this is a whole plate inside the intake manifold that's going to change the geometry inside the intake. Um, when this VIAS is not activated, the intake is set up for efficiency, uh, but when you happen to need more power, maybe you're passing, um, this will actually flip and uh, change uh, orientation to uh, allow the intake, air intake to do its job to give you more horsepower, but less efficiency uh, during that uh, exact time period. So basically what we have here, uh, this is a vacuum reservoir that starts here, okay? This comes into the vacuum reservoir, this comes out, and this feeds the VIAS actual electrical VIAS actuator, okay? So this now is a live vacuum feed as the engine's running, and then this last tube here comes out and feeds this diaphragm, okay? So the ECM makes the decision at the appropriate time that's gonna electrically activate this solenoid. It's gonna let the vacuum pass through and pull this backwards, okay? So the code I had was P1800. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a scan tool. So what I had done, my first step for me was to use the scan tool to actually activate that solenoid manually. Uh, and that's up here. It's a snap on modus edge. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the camera facing the VIAS uh, actuator. And I'm going to, on the scan tool, off screen now, on the scan tool, I'm going to activate that. And you're going to see what it should do uh, when that solenoid is actually activated. So like I said, the engine is running. You can probably hear it. And I do have vacuum here. I vacuum up to this solenoid. And as I turn it on in the scan tool, you're going to watch what that does. Okay? So that just changed the geometry inside the intake uh, as if we needed the uh, extra horsepower to pass or, you know, climb the hill or something like that. So now I'll turn it back off. Okay? Turn it right back off. And that's activating the solenoid within this piece here. Let me also show you on a multimeter what's happening electrically, because that's going to help you be able to troubleshoot this. That's going to help you be able to troubleshoot this without a scan tool. Uh, I know a lot of people don't have scan tools. Um, I probably shouldn't have one, but <laughs> I uh, decided to treat myself. So that is with the uh, Vias off, the Vias solenoid off. And now that is with the Vias solenoid on. So with the Vias solenoid on, um, it actually gets regular, you know, running battery voltage at that connector. Uh, and the way I have that connected uh, is I'm using the negative lead of my multimeter on this uh, green wire with the yellow stripe. This is actually a special tip for the multimeter that allows me to pierce that wire carefully while doing minimal damage to the wire. And then what I've done for the other terminal, for the positive terminal on the multimeter, is I've attached that right to battery positive. So I'm referencing that. Okay. So if you measure it that way, with the VIAS solenoid actually activated, you should have, you know, operating voltage between those two points uh, on the vehicle. So I'll turn that VIAS solenoid back off again. Okay. <clears throat> so that was again with the scan tool. So what I found when I was troubleshooting this is when I was trying to turn on and off of the scan tool, um, this actuator was never moving. Okay, so I decided that I should get this actuator. This actuator was not very expensive. I think it was $20 or less. Uh, it's some off-brand, but it's the exact same part. Um, so now, the next section of the video is I'll show you how how you can actually test that solenoid yourself, see what it's doing electrically without having to use the scan tool, uh, just to see if that solenoid is any good. Okay, so now to actually be able to test uh, whether your solenoid is good or not, um, it's going to make it a lot simpler if you have a vacuum pump, so you can simulate the engine vacuum. Um, if you don't want to buy one of these, don't have one. Um, if you run the engine for a couple of minutes, let it create some vacuum and then shut the engine off. This will store some vacuum in it for you. Uh, just enough that you can watch that actuator uh, move a couple of times. So but what I've done is I have hooked up my vacuum pump. These are around 20 or 30 bucks. Uh, I've pumped up the vacuum pressure. Um, maybe 19 inches of mercury, you know, 20, 22, whatever it is. Um, I found that's a good range. I can actually see the actuator move um, in, in that range of vacuum pressure. So what I've already done now 
is the lower pin as this is arranged. Uh, if you remember from the first part of the video, uh, that green wire is the negative, right? And that's the bottom pin. So I have the I have a green uh, alligator clip lead connected to engine ground, okay? And then uh, my white lead uh, is again coming from the battery positive. So I can apply 12 volts to this now and see how it's gonna act. Please note, it's important. I have unplugged this, okay? You do not wanna feed battery voltage back into the ECM harness. Okay, we're only testing this. We don't want to apply voltage back through the harness into the ECM. That's going to be very bad. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this. Um, I already have this on the lower pin, and this rubber here is, is shielding it from the upper pin. So I'm going to slide this in the top. I'm going to make contact with that upper pin, and we're going to watch this actually move. Okay, and you can actually hear it. And if that actuator is acting that way, clicking for you, passing the vacuum to the actuator, then that object is working the way it's supposed to. And of course, mine is new because the, the old one I had in there was not doing this properly, was not working for me. So this is a P1800 code on the 2006 Nissan Murano. Uh, hopefully somebody finds this helpful. Thanks for watching.